This is Dolan ETV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers discussion here on the channel today. And let me tell you, right, the Oilers making all their camp moves today. We've already talked about that. If you missed that video, I welcome you to go check that out. Eight players assigned from camp, and then, of course, Greg McKaig placed on waivers as well. That leaves us with a handful of healthy players and some decisions to be made. However, what that also leaves us with of no mention is the fact that Jason Demers and Jake Vertanen are both still in Edmonton Oilers' main camp. And, well, why is that? That is a good question because for somebody that did not watch last night's game due to being out and about having a house party, is simply put, there's a, there's a reason for that, I think, based on if you go to the Oilers' Twitter or Facebook and look at the highlights, is there's a couple of things they did well last night that kind of go out there and explain why they get one more probable look on Monday against the Canucks. But before we get to that, folks, if you're new to the channel and want to consider hitting that subscribe button, I'd be glad to have you along for this season of Edmonton Oilers talk, discussion, whatever you want to call it. But without further ado, let's get to it. Simply put, Jason Demers, first couple of games really didn't show much to say, man, this is the guy that we need to have around. However, last night scoring the goal on the power play and kind of being just a steady Eddie guy this whole preseason. Obviously, I don't think I've heard too much internal rage from Oilers fans about Jason Demers. He's a guy that just, if you don't notice him, he's going to earn a contract. And then you notice him for a good thing like scoring a goal on the power play last night. He's going to get noticed and potentially earn that contract. And in favor, too, Jake Vertanen last night scoring that uh, Tyler Benson goal being on the ice for it at least and really just contributing to that goal as well being of offensive kind of forechecking force on that goal and opening up the space for Tyler Benson to score that's doing the little things right and that's what you're looking for out of PTO players whether it be Demers or whether it be Vertanen is you're looking for both guys to come in be in your lineup night in night out in the preseason Earn the contract by doing the little things right. And for both of these guys, they've been unnoticeable for most of the preseason. But then when it starts getting to, down to crunch time and you've got a more veteran lineup in the preseason games and stuff like that, and suddenly you start noticing these guys a bit more, that's an important thing, right? As you can throw them out there with a bunch of, at this point at the NHL level, nobodies, but very core pieces of the Oilers' future of the AHL team and the junior players. However, you throw them out there with these veteran players and they start becoming a little bit more noticeable. It's kind of crazy to think that, yeah, okay, they need the other guys to feed off of, but suddenly you think, okay, okay, this is skill level they've got when they're playing with players that complement them better and know the NHL game a bit better. Well, suddenly, okay, yeah, that's a good thing that you can start noticing them and now you can really start making those decisions if you're Ken Holland and the Edmonton Oilers. And that's what Kurt Levins of the Edmonton Journal pointed out this afternoon on Twitter after the Oilers announced all their roster moves for the day. Is simply put, yes, now they're going to get that one more game against Vancouver, right? This will be game, what, six of the preseason, I believe? Or, yeah, it should be game six of the preseason. And now you'll really be able to get into the nitty gritty of are we keeping these guys or not and there's also to the possibility and I think very large possibility at least for Jason Demers that if he does not get a contract from the Oilers somebody else is scooping him up we've already talked about the Toronto possibility due to their injuries on defense but now that you're going to get a look at him in two three straight games where he's got big boys playing with him I think for sure he gets scooped up I don't know about Jake Vertanen just simply because I think the most noticeable thing I've seen him do all preseason is, of course, that highlight of the goal Tyler Benson scored last night. And is that enough to go out there and make teams say, yeah, let's throw him in? I'm not sure. But again, realistic expectations, not these crazy, oh my goodness, oh wow, expectations that for some reason people have on Jake Vertanen. Realistic expectations, that's 750K and he's a fourth line guy that scores you at 10, 15 points in the NHL. That's, that's not a bad thing. So I don't know who in the NHL would be looking for that outside of the Oilers and say some other teams, but... Right now, again, I'm not seeing as much of a market for Vertanen in the NHL should it not be the Oilers that sign him. 
outside of Jason Demers, who realistically right-hand shot defenseman, veteran player, can be a guy that, yeah, can be useful for you, even if it is only to get you through a couple of injuries from camp, right? Only to get you through the first four, five weeks of the season, he could be a guy that's useful. And I guess that in the same turn is where you could look in the next two, three, four days that Jake Vertanen could really capitalize, especially if he has a good game against his former team in the Canucks and really goes out there and earns something of a look from other NHL teams in case they have injuries or just enough to make the Oilers because the Oilers situation is crowded and that's one thing I want to talk about when we talk about these guys is just how crowded this Oilers situation really is because it's a tough go for a lot of guys to try and make the Oilers this season. There's five lists of waivers players today and if I can just scroll down far enough I'm going to get to it so let's see here so healthy players still at camp for the Oilers Ryan Shore, Benson, Yanmark, Yamamoto, Kane, McDavid, Pugliarvi, Hyman, Vertanen, Malone, Drysettle, Fogel, Holloway, Hamblin, McLeod, RNH. Right? You got to believe that you look at these guys Ryan, Shore, Benson, Yanmark, Vertanen, Malone, Fogel, Holloway, Hamblin. Of all those guys that have been mentioned potentially being sent down to the minors. I know Fogel's only there for cap hit issues, but you talk about the guys potentially being sent down is you look at Holloway, you look at Hamblin, you look at Malone, you look at Ryan, Shore, Benson, and Yanmark, and you say, is Jake Vertanen going to beat those guys out? Up front, that's a tough, tough call because, right, the Oilers have options on the right side in Yamamoto, Pugliarvi, You've got, of course, Fogel, who's suddenly now playing the right side. You've got Ryan as well. You got, right? You got guys that are going to be there on the right side for you this season. And of course, Jake Vertanen's got to figure out a way to work his way in there if he is going to be in there. On the defense, though, you look at how this lines up: Barry, Nurse, Demers, Cece, Nemalainen, Broberg, Bouchard, Kulak, Murray, Sam Rukov. Here's the thing: Demers is that fourth right shot defenseman that's where I think he's really got the leg up at this point obviously Vinny DeHarnay is still there but he's gonna have to go down to the AHL squad to go get tuned up before he thinks about coming up at all this year so for Jason Demers he's got quite a good shot here just simply because he is number four on the depth chart whereas Jake Vertanen I think has a hard go based on what he's showing early in the preseason up until last night and then, well, at the same time, trying to beat out guys that have been on the edge of the Oilers for years or have been with the Oilers over the past year, year and a half kind of deal. So there's a lot to be considered with this Pito, guys. And I think for now, it's just get us to Monday at 7 o'clock against the Vancouver Canucks. And let's see what happens for the Oilers at that point. That's the big part. Just get there and see what happens, folks. I'm Tyson, this is Stalini TV. Thank you so much for tuning in this evening, this afternoon, whenever you're tuning in from this morning. Uh, if you've taken that time to consider subscribing, I really appreciate that. And secondary to that, let's go Oilers and get this going. It is game day tomorrow yet again. Folks, I am up on out of here.